Hey, this is Brett, and I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon X in Sarge Green clear coat. This is stock number 24J129. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2024 Jeep Wrangler has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 16 miles per gallon highway. Uh, I'm sorry, 16 miles per gallon city, 19 miles per gallon highway and an average of 17 miles per gallon. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. I'm gonna show you all the options, uh, go over the original window sticker and just give you a real good representation of this vehicle and everything that it includes. And uh, if you want all the pricing and information and links to our website, that's in the description below. So definitely click that. Uh, starting off here, you can see that this one does come with the worn winch from the factory. This is an 8,000 pound winch. It comes with the synthetic rope. You also get the steel bumpers on here. All the Rubicons and Rubicon X's come standard with the LED headlamps, running lights, and the fender lights, as well as the LED fog lamps. So I like to do in my videos is at the end of the, these videos, I turn off all the lights in the picture studio and then turn on these lights so you can see just how bright they are. So I will definitely be doing that at the end of this video. This one does have the sports style hood. It also has the front camera on here and the satin finished black grille. So the Rubicon X package comes standard with these really nice BF Goodrich Alteray TAKO2 tires. These are LT315 70 R18, I'm sorry, 70 R17s. And it does come with the painted and polished aluminum wheels. New for 2024 are these center caps. And of course the wheels are new as well. You get a factory uh, lift. I think it's a one inch lift or two inch lift on these Rubicon X's with the uh, 315 tires and wheels. They're actually two inches taller. They say it's a one inch lift or a one and a half inch lift. You also get these fender flare extensions on here so that everything is nice and in line with the fenders so everything's legal in all the states. This one does have the color match fenders and the color match hard top. I really like that look. Let me know in the comments what you think of that look on the Wrangler. If you like the color match fenders and top, or if you like the black fenders and top, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you get the Wrangler climbing up the side. You also get the sandals in that shroud right there. T50 on the doors to get these doors off. We actually did a demo on how to take your Wrangler four door JL doors off. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. You get the rock rails with the Rubicon package. Here is the original window sticker, so feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go over everything, but uh, most of it. 2024 Wrangler four-door Rubicon. Um, this is the 3.6 liter, eight-speed automatic. Everything is your standard equipment over here. And then you can see your optional equipment starts with the Sarge Green, which is $595. And the customer preferred 24Y package is a $13,000 option or the Rubicon X package. Uh, which you can see right there, Napa leather seats, the power seats on there as well, heated seats, steering wheel, Alpine premium sound connected travel and traffic services, the Uconnect 12.3 inch touchscreen radio uh, with navigation, the 17 by 8 inch machine wheels with black pockets, and the body color fender flares or highline flares as they call it, LT315 tires, the body color hardtop, the uh, 4 to 1 Rock Track Heavy Duty Full Time Four Wheel Drive System, Blind Spot and Cross Path Detection, Remote Start, Automatic High Beam, Park Sense, Integrated Off Road Camera, Rear, rear Defrost, Rear Window Wiper Washer, Hard Top Headliner by Mopar, No Soft Top, Freedom Storage Bag, Steel Front and Rear Bumper, and the Hinge Gate Reinforcement. Somebody asked me about the, why they're not doing the Hinge Gate Reinforcement on the 24Y. This one was built in October, and as, as of October, it was uh, still came with that package, so I'm not really sure on that. Sorry, uh, John Carter voice, I, I don't know. Eight-speed automatic transmission is 4,500 bucks, and that includes select speed control and adaptive cruise control. Cold air intake by Mopar is 525. Doors off mirror kit by Mopar is 195. I actually did a demo on how to put those on. 
Uh, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Performance Satin Grilled by Mopar is 325 and the Warren Winch is a $2,000 option. Total MSRP on this one is $72,725 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this one. In the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website also in the description below. 3 year 36 bumper to bumper, 5 year 60 powertrain. There is your, there are your miles per gallon, uh, greenhouse and smog ratings, and your safety rating is not really rated for too much yet. But you can see you get the power passenger seat with the lumbar on there, and I uh, really like what they've done with these seats. We'll get more into this on the driver's side, but uh, I really like them. This one does have the 3M tape on the front of the fender there to keep your Fender's looking good. You do get the upgraded brakes with the Rubicon X package as well. It's not on the uh, buyer's guide there, but it does come with that. Because of the bigger wheels and tires, you need the more performance sport brakes on here. This one also comes with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring back here, which is right there. You get the backup parking sensors, the red tow hook there, matching spare tire. Uh, there's also an extension on this tire uh, because it is wider and there's also an extension on these tail lights and you can see that there's Ralphie right there that's a dog and uh, there's an inch um, extension right there because these tail lights have to stick out farther because of the tire and the LED tail lamps there's the hinge gate reinforcement right there so as of October they were still putting those on there I don't know if you can't get them like that anymore or what Somebody let me know in the comments. Back here, this is your box for the Mirrors Off kit. You get the Alpine Premium subwoofer back here. Uh, these are, oh, that's for you. That must be your front license plate holder, your soft top case, uh, the insulated hard top pieces here, which you can see. Um, Nice feature, I, I like those. You also have the bolts to take these hard tops off. Two quick disconnects, we actually did a demo on in a JL if you want to check that out. How to take your hard top off your JL Wrangler, very popular videos. Check that out in the upper right hand part of the screen. Uh, one kind of hidden Easter egg, there's seven slots back here just like the grill. And then you get the JL badge right here for two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording on there. Those taillights look really good when they're lit up as well, so we're almost there, so stick around for that. Um, the rest of the Wrangler, you get the enter and go system, you get the nice badges on here. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, there's no more antenna on the passenger side, there's just a trail rated badge because that antenna is actually in the windshield now, which is new for 2024, part of that mid-model refresh. Enter and go system, you just have to have the key fob in your pocket, put your hand in there, the doors will automatically unlock. Heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, back seats look really good. These, this leather is like, it's, it's stiff, but it's, it's more of a soft touch. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. You have to feel it for yourself. Um, these seats fold down pretty nice and flat. And the other thing I like about these JL Wranglers is the headrests stay down, so if nobody's sitting back here, you get better visibility out of the back. They redesigned the mid-model refresh. They redesigned these speakers as well as where these map lights are. They used to be in a big clump right here. Now they're separated more over the uh, occupants sitting back here, which is pretty sweet. You also have 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs, two USB-Cs back here as well and child safety locks on the back doors. And once again, front seat, power driver seat. Uh, that was a first for the Wranglers for 2024, so it's exciting to get one of these Rubicon Xs back in. You get the stitched backrest there with the Rubicon lettering, the red stitching on the seats, and uh, you know, fully power backrest, lumbar, factory floor mats. This is new for 2024. You get the Wrangler and the Gladiator back-to-back, -back, little emblem there. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, that's your dimmer. Then you get this kind of Gore-Tex material on the dash. Um, it's not leather, it's kind of like a rubberish. I've seen it on the Rebels called Gore-Tex, so that's what I'm going with. Power mirrors, power locks. Hop inside. They use the same leather that they do on the seats on the steering wheel, so 
that was like the first thing I noticed when I got into a 2024 Wrangler was just how soft the fear, the steering wheel felt um, compared to the 2023s. It's, it's just a different leather. It's smoother, I guess you could say. You get the 7-inch LCD display on there with the digital speedometer. Um, obviously, they haven't changed that. Bluetooth information center controls on the left, adaptive cruise, cruise controls right there. All the windshields, except on the Sport, are going to have the Gorilla Glass, so that's a new thing uh, to prevent rock chips and cracking and stuff like that. And then this is the Uconnect 12.3-inch um, Uconnect 5 radio. You can see this one does have off-road pages, which are pretty cool. We'll start off with those. Uh, you get the steering angle, which as I turn that steering wheel, you can see that changes, so that's pretty cool. And the other thing I like, especially on the Rubicon, you can see if your sway bar is connected, axle lockers, locker is connected, or the rear axle locker if it's connect or locked or unlocked, um, as well as the transfer case. So when you have a Rubicon, you get all those different options, and it's nice to see where you're at on a uh, display there. You get pitch and roll. You can check out your front camera as well if I got that turned on. And then you get those grid lines there, which are actually representations of where your wheels are going to be. So you can imagine if you're off-roading that that would be uh, pretty helpful so you're not hitting rocks and stuff or that you're hitting them right. And then you can wash that front camera, which is pretty cool. Get the backup camera as well. They've made those HD so they're nice and crystal clear. You get latitude, longitude on there as well as your altitude. And then you get your navigation system, of course, which is pretty sweet. Your home screen where you can... Uh, either make this full size or you can put more different widgets on there if you want to like climb it over here and nav over here or nav over here radio over here you can adjust all that stuff and you do get am fm and sirius xm radio capabilities as well as bluetooth usb and augs hookups then you get all your different apps on here i'm not going to go through everything if you guys want me to go through something in particular uh, just let me know and i can do that in future videos but for this video, we're just going to go and show you all the different options that are on here. And yeah, so we already did the um, off-road pages. So now we can go down to the push button start. More tactile volume tune and climb control. Start stop feature stability control. Parking sensors, speed select crawl control. Power windows. You get a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon in the off-road plus mode. Sway bar disconnect and your front and rear axle lockers that you can do there uh, for auxiliary upfits, which is part of that towing package. And then you get the uh, four-wheel drive with four-wheel drive there with the four high part-time and four high auto. Eight-speed automatic transmission. Keyless entry with the remote start. You do get that chunky flipper key there. And that actually sits right there, so you always know where it is. And they changed the dash up here. They used to have uh, two round air vents as opposed to these small ones down here with the bigger radio. They kind of changed that around. And you get two um, little storage cubbies up there uh, that changed with the mid-model redesign as well. There's a good look at that Gore-Tex material on there. You get the insulated front hardtop pieces. Assist and SOS buttons, home link buttons for your garage door security systems, and lane systems, and the auto dimming mirror. So I wanted to show you the cold air intake before we turn all these lights on. So, so I know that we've had this in the past and people have been upset that I didn't show it. So here we go. It's really not that much to see. It's just an air intake right there. And it comes up, obviously, through that tube uh, just a little bit um, higher up, I guess. Right off the side of the hood there. So that's that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to go turn off all the lights and then turn the lights on on the Jeep so you can see just how bright they are. Stick with me for one second. All right. So if you stuck around this long, hopefully uh, you did. You can see just how nice and bright those Jeep lights are. The LEDs look really good and they're really wide, you know, so if you're driving at night, lights can go into the ditches. You can see far away. 
Uh, just really a nice upgrade that Jeep did in 2024 to get all those LED lights on there um, just for a better safety feature. So that's how the back lights look. I think they look really good. You get the LED license plate light as well. The one thing I did forget to mention on these 2024s is they've also upgraded the airbags in them. You now have side curtain airbags on these vehicles and they are right there. So those are standard now on the Jeeps or the Wranglers, I should say. And uh, let's start it up. Do a final walk around here. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the options, looks, and styling on this particular Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X in Sarge Green. One of the most popular colors that are on the Wranglers right now that's on the Wranglers right now. I think it's a really good looking color. Let me know what you think in the description below. And uh, to see more pictures of this Jeep or even purchase this Jeep, you can go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of this vehicle and uh, 550 other new and used vehicles on there, um, all at one site at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done. In the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website with pricing and incentives. In the lower left, any link to this, uh, one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right, click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon X in Sarge Green. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.